Welcome back YouTube family. How are you doing? More Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And today we're going to do two quick little quests on an island right in the middle of Rigelaflick, I think is how you pronounce it. We'll show you where it is on the map so you know. Apologies to my Scandinavian friends. I know I'm butchering some of these names, but everybody seems to find it highly amusing for some reason. So two um, quick little quests or mysteries we're going to solve today. Open a bit of a chest and um, yeah, the abandoned chalet and the mushroom puzzle. Let's do it! So we are up in the kind of northeast corner. We'll show you on the map where this is in a second, but um, essentially we're going to do two a little, I think they're regarded as mysteries today. Uh, pick up some wealth and um, yeah this one's not totally obvious um, straight away so uh, let's get into where this is on the map and then we'll get into the quest so you can see Rigo Flick is right there so we're going to go to the abandoned chalet and find those chests first and then we'll do the one below that to the kind of east of um, of the first one. So, okay, let's get into it and let's see what the solution is. So when you land on this island, you're going to come across an abandoned chalet. Now this island, for some reason, it's a very big island, but it doesn't have a name. So um, we've got already got it marked. Just be very careful, see if there's any bad guys. You shouldn't find Kent or any enemies at this point. And there's a few things there, just pulse it. And there's a few things there to read. Um, and it is important that you read this particular note. Because this tells you, this gives you a clue what you have to do. It's talking about um, the the people that lived here going wolf hunting. So hop into the chalet here home? and you're going you're gonna to find a chest. Now, you've got to find a key for the chest. And um, so there's another letter here. To always read these letters. It's very important because you never know that these letters might come in useful. I'm not going to spoil what they might do later, but um, they might come in useful much, much later in the game to identify certain people or certain um, things. So I'm not going to say much more than that. So I'm just having a good look around for the key. Um, as it turns out, the best thing to do is put your raven up. And your raven will show you where to go next. So my advice is hop up on the roof here. Um, right over there. Or just put the raven up. Um, the raven will help you figure out what's going on here. If this guy stops posing for five seconds and, and gets on with the quest. Okay, so here we go. So put the raven out. Pulse around your environment. Let her fly a little bit. Just see if you can find what you need. Now you're looking for something. There it is with a key symbol on it. So if you ever if you ever need a key, this is the best way to um, to find it in the game. Is use the raven. You can pretty much um, find the key the majority of the time. Um, as we said in the uh, game guide for the recarve bow, this takes down a stag with one hit, which is kind of nice. Um, the only thing I don't like about the recarve bow is the lack of arrows. But I guess that's the trade-off, isn't it, with high damage weapons. But we're arrows back. So let's head towards that key, which is down in this kind of hollow down here. Yep, still. Just right there, just check I'm in the right path. And you're going to encounter a group of wolves. There should be, I think, three wolves there. Um, you will have to kill these guys before doing anything else. And these guys will actively hunt you. So try and use your evas evasion skills as much as possible. Completely missed him there. He will come back. Where's the third one going? Where are you, sir? There was three of them, wasn't there? They're going to trick you because if you come in, come in here and try and do that. Yep. Yeah, look, he was waiting. 
Pretty, pretty smart wolves. Although the wolves that shit in the island shouldn't be too much of a drama. Um, what am I using? I'm using Varen's axe here, and it's it seems to seems to take care of them pretty easily. Although I don't know what just happened there, glitch in the matrix or something. I'm not going to loot him just quite yet. Oh, he's got a lot. He should have a damage on him. Oh no, I didn't. That's right. The the bow I had didn't really injure him too much. The only thing about the recarve bow and being zoomed in, it's not real fast. The hunting bow is probably a better option here. Here we go. So we should be good now. Loot all your wolves and do all the stuff you need to. And here we go. Here's a second um, second note. You can read that at your leisure. And the key should be in here somewhere. Oh, there. There he is. Right there. On there's key we have. Beautiful. So once you've got that, head back to the deserted chalet and you should be able to get some ingots. Okay, let's hop into the window again and see if this works. In we go. Unlock the chest, please. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Carbon ingots, so you can upgrade your weapons now. And that's the last we needed for the wealth in the region, which is pretty nice. Couple of skill points as well. Everything is fine and dandy. That only gave you one ingot. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head down the southeast corner and we're going to um, do this one next. What I'd say about this next puzzle is don't overthink it. I tried to overthink it completely, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not that difficult. Use logic here. So, in the bottom southeast corner, you come across these three statues, and it actually prompts you to eat um, something on the ground. There, you'll see it, it says, "Eat fly or." Agaric and mushrooms and it will put you into this kind of weird trance state like this and it's got a puzzle for you to um, to solve so there is a um, note on the table there that you have to pick up right there and it should explain what you need to do come on Eva pick that I know you've, you're a bit woozy but here we go Okay, so it tells you who the first, second, and third gate is, and you've got to do this in order. And pretty much the answer is standing right in front of you. Look at the statues there, match them up to um, to the gates, and do them one at a time. So go from left to right. Okay, so have a good look around. Where's the first guy? First guy's there. Now, what will happen is you'll go running in here and it'll, it'll throw you back out. And when that first happened, I thought I'd got it wrong, but you haven't run into the second one. And it'll push you back out. And then, of course, go to the third one. And he's a little bit harder to see. And there you go. That's the mystery solved. One who wanders widely and has traveled far, will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense. And it takes you out of that trance-like state and there you go, mystery completed. So that's it for today's episode. Hope you're enjoying Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hope these um, game guides or tips and tricks videos are useful for you. If they are, a like ring's always appreciated. It really does help the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. And we will catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!